Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Lena's Inception. This is Queen Mang's Necropolis or something? Yeah, Queen Mang's Necropolis. Uh, after this, we're gonna head back to... Oh, that's funny, you can just stick it there. Uh, after this, we're gonna head back to the Librarion. Dungeon map. Uh, cool. So this is a and that's semi-dead. Interesting. Uh, I like the tile set in here. It's unique, fresh, and interesting. Okay, cool. You got like you got to get around of the in front of the snail, the snoggly. Frozen shrine of depression, nice. I guess I've never seen this one before. You got big slimos though. Okay, so it's not as strong as the sword. Um, we have five of those. Oh, fuck. Hey, and I'm back. Um, sorry about that. Phillips. Clicked out of the window. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I just accidentally activated that thing and I felt real stupid. Okay, based on all the uh, ice here, I'm guessing I'm gonna have an ice monster to fight. That sound that it makes is really satisfying. <laughs> All right. Those snails are really annoying. I actually don't like enjoy fighting them at all. Let's go here and let's actually max this out. All right, I'm glad we didn't go too far into that room because that sucked. All right, so it looks like here is the actual point of relevance. And then we can go up and over, okay, cool. I love when the dungeon generates so you get the map right at the start. That's fantastic. Sorry, I just had to shut up and hyper-focus for a second. Mini-boss. Yep, that's the lighter. So that means that I'm going to get the lighter. Jesus. Oh, that's a lot of them, huh? Oh jeez, that's a lot. Am I supposed to be able to kill these ghouls? Damn it. Oh, I'm here at least, that's good. And that, I can't go that way yet, damn it. Luckily the dungeon is still dead. Okay, let's go this way first. And it doesn't lead anywhere, but I'm also locked in here. <laughs> That's just offensive. Don't be fucking rude. Oh, brother. All right, let's trash this fool. That's nice, it just starts me here. Okay. Jeez, okay. Okay. 
Come on, boards. I got three of them that time. That was pretty rad. See, they're green, and something about them says, like, I'm not supposed to kill them. I'm not sure what it is. But, like, they seem to have an inordinate amount of health, and nothing in this game has taken this many hits. If they can be defeated with normal weapons. Okay. Yeah, okay. I see. I got it now. The old man. I just realized that that guy's name is Hammy. Is this right, actually? It doesn't feel right anymore. Wait, can I shield them? They pushed me around. actually kind of stuck here because I can't get up there I can't get up there I can't get through there because this place just leads to here right this. I can't get any further this way, huh? Will you help me? That's marginally helpful. When I have a hammer, every problem can be solved by repeatedly hammering. That's called Maslow's Theory. You have a stamina bar when you're swimming. Okay, that's cool, actually. I really need to find out how I'm meant to kill these birds, y'all. My lethality in regards to birds is at an all-time low. Never before have I needed or wanted to kill birds so badly. cut this actually so after a lot of a lot of difficulty and a lot of death I figured out that there is a solution to it uh, it's that you must hit them in the back so now I have this which I believe I actually also got in the other run but this allows a lot more places to go for me 
Like, look at all that shit. Man, that's all free. So yeah, with the birds, you actually just had to hit them in the butt. Which isn't so bad, but like, it was really annoying to me for some reason. But whatever, I got it done. Now, these birds, I am much stronger than. But the green birds, yeah, you have to hit them in the butt. All right. That was pretty smoking. That was pretty cool. What is that? Lasso. Now see, I see this and I assume it's a noose. Is that on me? It's a level one lasso. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the lasso and the lighter in this dungeon. Those things will probably end up being useful later in the dungeon, I imagine, but who knows. The lighter definitely, now that I think of it. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's head back here. Oh, God damn it! because I left the dungeon, it counts as me having died. Or no, actually, dying doesn't reset the dungeon, only leaving it does, but that counted as leaving it. That sucks. And yet, for some reason, these are not... That's so weird. Alright, and then I'm going to go here. I love how commonly the, uh, the stuff in there seems to have shit frozen in it. That's so funny. All right. Now this diverts here. Yeah, I just got a weird feeling in my hip. Maybe it's my, like, psychic link with my wife. She's been having hip troubles. Hers is from overwork, though. Mine is probably just me sitting on my ass, right? Yes, now give me bombs. So when you're playing as Lena and you get really low on health, and you get to that, like, flickery, like, oh, I'm gonna die stage... What could actually happen is, um, what can actually happen is, like, you'll poison enemies with your blood. Like, you'll leave little trails of blood on the floor, and if they step in it, they'll get poisoned, which is really interesting. <laughs> Blue key. Perfect. Now this was Crabman, right? Um, because we might get a flame or ice person. But it would make sense if we got Crabman as well. I just totally let him hit me. What was that? I'm gonna have to remember and tell my wife about the wizard shitting their pants joke in this game. It was actually very well done. Like, of all the jokes about wizards shitting their pants, that might be the best. <laughs> They're hitting each other. I like that. And then the chicken shows up just to claim its little share of the rewards. 
fucking mad. Now this is a boss fountain if I've ever seen one. Right, I think I'm full on health now though, so. Yeah, if I wasn't full on health, I am now. I mean, goddamn. All right. So let's get it started and ha. Uh, this is a weird pre-boss room, I think. Crabman? The Snow, Centaquiel. Okay. Yeah, I decided to upload the, uh... So I have fought this guy, but it's interesting that they show up in unique orders. I think that's really cool. Shoot. Good use of angel names as well. I wanted to really commend the creators of this game for thinking of such cool like boss titles. Uh huh. So it looks like whatever you start to get to the later stage of the game, bosses will just start to take on these, like, dramatically different new forms. Because I don't think he did that last time. Hell yeah. Crypt Memory 4. Blood Money. Said I assume you know who I am? Yes. You're my bank's angel investor. Good, I'm impressed you still came. You mentioned a new revenue stream. Correct. We monsters solely possess the ability... To create new core, of course. Of course, that's so brilliant because it's a dungeon economy. I have harnessed this power. Let's call this an advance payment. With the promise of more if you achieve everything I set out. What will you have me, O bounteous one? Call on the prince's debt, step into his place and lay off the guards. I will then march on the palace unimpeded and take my rightful place as ruler of the pitiful land. Interesting. That heat up for the bosses is getting really cool. And now that I have the Liter. I can now burn shit. That's cool. Still on the lookout for that blue potion. You may have noticed that my inventory is a lot emptier than it was last time, and it's because I've, uh... I used a bunch of my shit on the, uh, on the... The birds, because I was sure that there was gonna be a trick to them of some kind. Oh, the glitches are starting to bleed over to here now. Uh-huh. Runny pea potion. Hmm. Okay, damn. Unfortunate. I keep putting my hand over just a little too far. Hundred dollars, hooray! that I can do now? It is. That means that I can go through here, right? <sighs> so where does this lead? To 
to ten dollars. Nice. Oh, that's a lot of guys. There's no XP or leveling system, and like, you definitely do not need that in a game, especially of this type. Like, there's a lot of people who are like, don't put a XP and level system in a game like this. And like, that's perfectly fine. I, I would agree for the most part. Uh, however, I think that uh, it's nice to give yourself a sense of progression. Generating. Usa Living Pod. Pond or pod? I didn't read it right. But it matters not. For now, we are returning to the Librarian to see what she must say. Found seven? Damn. I noticed a little thing pointing here. Yeah, it still is, in fact. Why is that? Okay, I guess I've satisfied it. Let's head along, then. Okay. This strength tunic is like borderline game breaking. Cause normally you have to like position your character in such a way that you'll be able to hit something and then be safe the next turn as well. I mean, this game doesn't use turns, but you have to, you know, be able to defend yourself in some way. That's a big dungeon. But with this, you can just slice and you're done. Okay, so that needs the bow and arrow to open, which I do not have currently. Okay. Like, this is, like, um, Nintendo doesn't make Zelda games like they used to. And, like, that's, that's not just me being a boomer. That's a, that's a definite statement. I'm pretty sure we're even now moving into the third era of Zelda games. Because it used to be that they would look like this, you know? And then they started to be like 3D. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. But yeah, they started to be 3D and like still in a similar thing. And now they're turning into Skyrims, you know? Every Zelda is its own little Skyrim. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. But on the other hand, so like, that means that like, oh uh, yeah, here we go. Large, but still remarkably similar. Nice. This wood and string tool. Only got 16 arrows though. That's a good bow as well. Very quick. You know, useful. I thought that there was like just 50 lizards in here. It's all popped. <laughs> I like how they die upon uh, contact with water. Makes my job easier, I'll tell you that much. <gasps> yes. 
Oh, but I can't leave because I need to finish the dungeon. Damn it. Because if I leave, the dungeon will reset itself. Oh, that sucks. How does it feel now? Now that you're getting arched back. Oh man, this game's good. What do we have here? Oops. Damn. I wonder if this kills them faster. I think it does. Okay. Have you found my books? You found quite a few. Are you planning to visit the library soon? Because I've been thinking about you. Click. Don't worry. I'm on my way as soon as I can. Okay, so if I come back into that room, and there are two of them. If I come back into that room and there's two snails, then I'll know. Then I'll know that the dungeon is reset and it's, I may as well just reset it myself anyway. I don't mean to use my arrows so uh, wastefully. I just forget. Come on. Yeah, give it up. Oh, so this will be the crabman as well, I just realized. Easy money. Oh, this is a new area anyway. That's actually rather convenient. There we go. I don't know what happened, but like my uh, my hands like freaking out. I'm not hitting the buttons I mean to. Man, I hope Kirsten watches this LP. Just gonna really appreciate all the sapphism. Especially considering that one of them is a frumpy librarian. And the other one's a teacher. Come here, you bastard. Green key? Okay, interesting. So it's my ring finger 
Yeah, I basically have to have like a new home row, more or less, for this. So I just need to remember that my ring finger is the one with the hammer. And my middle finger is arrows. Yes. Fall into water, foolish snail. See, my friend Daisy now, she would not approve of uh, wanton violence to snails. That's the boss. Uh, let's go to here. Which is not the boss, I notice. But I've already been in here. It's a really good game, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm so drawn into it. Buy it and to it. Okay. And then up. Well, it's nothing in here. Nothing I'm interested in. Crab it on, Doomsday Crab. It's a great name. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, like Zoidberg. All right, so. Oh, if when he opened his mouth, I probably could have gotten shot in there. Takes a long time to wind up a shot. He does, I mean. Okay, gotta find a way to counter that. It's my only issue right now. Ah, oh, man. I guess I can't just hit him normal style, right? Okay, he's got a water jet. Oh, is that it? Oh, but he's got form two. What the fuck, man? These things are like no joke fucked up. They're radical, though. Oh, he's got an eye. Okay, when they open the mouth, there's an eye in there. Damn. See, look, that little blood splatter that I leave, so that actually poisons enemies who walk on it. I'm not sure if it works on bosses. Things often don't, you know, cons conspire to making it so bosses can be affected by poisons. All right. Crabadon. What an awesome name. Okay, I might have gotten him, I'm not sure. Just get out of his way, you idiot. That's the problem. I'm a little fire to just tickle your putt a little bit. He's so wide that he fills up more of the room than I do. And so he can't actually hit me. Like, this this boss is not hard. This is one of the easier bosses, I would say. But at this point, it's probably meant to be obvious that, like, now the deal is these things, you know? Like, the actual boss is just a warm-up for the glitch boss. Okay, middle finger. Gotta keep that thing hot and ready. Like that, yeah. There you go. Okay, the shield does... Oh, I wasn't actually blocking. I was just facing him. Oh, man. The way their eyes twitch is not good. Ah, oh, fuck. Missed him. Okay. 
One of them is gone. I like that. I like that. Also, he's missing an eye. Like, his eye socket is empty, and then he's got an eye patch. Or at least it appears that way. But the two little skull faces here open their mouths and contain eyes. Oh, man, he's so much quicker than me. Okay. Now what you got? I just realized the little hands are the... It's the it's the claws and it's still his mouth. It's still him. He's just so glitched out. It's nearly unidentifiable. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh, it's a regular heart. Eat of the Mantra's beating heart permanently increases your fortitude. Oh, and now it's not like a like a cartoon, like a Valentine's Day heart. It's just this gooey, gushy, beating heart. Okay. Delvin, your pizza's here. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. I tried to take a shortcut down the coast, but the monsters in the surf were insane. The guy who ordered 255... It's a stack overflow. That's why it goes around the screen. That's so funny. Well, I ordered one pizza. Well, I have 255. What do you want me to do with them? I'll put them in the fridge for later. <laughs> uh... What is all this junk in my fridge? What on earth? So yeah, he had a stack overflow of pizza. That's honestly really funny. So now that I have the arrows, first of all, let's see if I can buy anything here. Oh, I can buy arrows, that's useful. Brown silk. Oh, whoops. Shadow temple, didn't mean to do that. Hi, Lena, you found my books? You found quite a few. But not all, I'm sure there's more to be found. Why don't I come with you to look? It'd be nice to go for a walk. Yes. So what is this place exactly? Grown as a depression, right? Alright. Um I wanna see if there's any places that I haven't been able to grab yet. I love Protagoni like this, where they're just like masters of everything. All right, we got seven silver. Hello, hello, 30 arrows. And the bow itself does more damage. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. I just have the like, urge for a fudge sickle. even down here money 100 bucks nice yeah i haven't gotten any upgrades for hmm oh it just shows me that yeah i haven't gotten any upgrades for so yeah i actually need to go here but because i need to go through the bridge to get here that means that's not what it shows me i totally just fucking blanked on whatever i was talking about what is this 
Gonna have to tell Kate about that stack overflow of pizzas joke. That's one of the like cleverest jokes I've I've seen in a while. Okay. Nice. Oh, it's another book. Paige's heart grew. Smirk. Slimes is the simplest anatomy of any creature detailed in this. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, I think we've read this, actually. Nothing like fresh air, she says. Okay. So I need to go this way. Oh, nice. You can double down. And another one. Dr. Bone. Sometimes in the dead night, your heart falls asleep for the last time. Heart stops, stitch decay. Skeletons move in the moonlight. Calcium are you, calcium oh yeah. Calcium are you ah. Now the dungeon is done, you had to go back home. Please come and spook me again. I've never felt more a bone. Potty, I ain't missing you. I'd rather have my spine. I'm a pelvic turtle. A girdle too, humans to slay. I think my loot every day. I really want coins too. Death swept my feet off right off the ground. Prophet's love I found. Dr. Bones, Bones, calling Dr. Bones, Dr. Bones, Dr. Bones, get up now, wake up now, Dr. Bones, Dr. Bones, calling Dr. Bones, Dr. Bones, Dr. Bones, wake up now, wake up now. Who's trying to kickstart their rap career, I wonder? Uh, oh, Traveling Merchant. Okay. Man. I like the idea of a book that says Dr. Bones, just the hits, and it's like it's two pages long. So there's supposed to be a traveling merchant here. Huh. Okay. That's a cracked wall. I like the look of that. Oh! Paige's heart grew literally means she gained more life. Look at that. She has more hearts now. Get out of there, girl. Nothing. Weird. Let's head on this big suck hole, then. The yellow tomb of except... Okay. Gotta be honest, I don't like what I'm seeing here. Yeah. Hell yeah. I've got a lot of life now. I love that. Like, I love seeing, like, you go from three hearts to, like, that many. That's great. Oh, there's just two... They just lead to the same place. Alright. Alright. So south from here will lead here. There is here. That's not clear. Damn, just call me Dr. Bones. Death Jam Ram Star. Fizzy White Potion and another book. I hope it's some slap and hit by Dr. Bone. Uh, author's page. <laughs> the Lusty Archangel Maid! Ooh! <laughs> Any resemblance to persons living or dead is coincidental. Libby, a strong, powerful librarian. Stunningly beautiful, in fact. Archangel Martha, an eldritch horror with many tentacles. Setting, dungeon boss room. At rise, Archangel Martha is sprawled across the floor, helpless. Libby, with a triumphant expression, sits astride her. In one hand, she holds two of her main tentacles. In the other, she grips a dagger, which is pointed at the Archangel's chest. I have been defeated. Cut the heart from my breast and eat it, as per tradition. I will not. She tucks the knife away and releases more of the tentacles. Then my heart shall always belong to you, mistress, for one cannot have one's heart and eat it too. Come with me, Martha. Uh, sitting in the corner of Libby's library between the towering bookcases, Libby is showing Archangel Martha on the library. Now I have seen the entire library, so I may serve you better. Not quite, Martha. There's one more rack I still need to show you. But mistress, what if your pardons were to chance upon us? It won't be just the books getting checked out today. 
So much sand is getting in my. Did you want to talk? Did you want to tell me that I'm finding your like pornographic smut plays? Now, of course, the problem with that is the same problem as. Uh... Also, I noticed that that is very, very lesbian. Very, very sapphic. Lana, hmm. Which I think goes further to proving my theory that at least one of these gals is gay. You know what they say. Two in ten gals are gay and there's only two of us here. So watch yourself. Ooh, many loots. And a purple tunic. Twelve of them. Uh, oh, it's a... Professor Balua. This is a Pokedex. I'm pretty sure that's a plant. Uh, zero one, bat. Blind. Beast possesses a keen sense of hearing. Bat hearts are sought after for their healing properties. Slime. Resting blob face. Oh, wow, it's the whole thing. Marshmallow. It's a recipe. Skeletons. Skeletons are everywhere. One of them is inside of you right now. Whirligig. Uh-huh. So crap. <laughs> Smilder. Dentists hate them. Shark Tula. And no sense of humor. Their idea of fun is drowning swimmers and eating babies. Snail. Bourgeoisie slime that owns its home. Oh, bombshell. This boomer is prone to explode. Dolphin. If they switch to cattle... Western society relied on dolphins for mass milk productions. They have still not forgiven us for this. Paramelion. Uh, it can light fire, light rays like a lens to ignite fire. It can be found committing arson in dungeon. And pumpkins. Sprinkle with blood. Develop a mind of its own. Huh? We found most of my books. We should celebrate. I have an idea. I need you to kill ten marshmallows. Bring corpse of the ten soft slime mins. God. That was really stupid. I just realized that I've been hammering that uh, arrow button and not actually shooting. Or I was shooting. I was supposed to be hammering. Oh, there's some arrows. All right, let's head north. So this way leads to a marshmallow. Now that we have the recipe, we can do something with them. Is she gonna make me like a candy heart or something? Well, there's the dungeon. Uh, let's just generate it and then head right out. Governor Ree's dungeon. See, so yeah, there's more side quests to do as well in this game. Like, I've only dipped a little bit into it. Okay, and we're just right here. Oh, man. See, this is the Pyromillions. Yo, she's like really effective against them. They can't get a hit off on her. Look at that shit. Wow. Hell yeah, girl. I, I may as well just sit back. She's got this shit on lock. You know, I work for her now. Get him. He's a boomer. Okay, so we got pits in this room. And I noticed a lot of pits in the intro, so I'm thinking that maybe an ability to walk over or through pits is probably going to be, like, the de facto over here. Yeah, get that fool. Okay, blue key, which unlocks that door. And there's also a down in here. And the next one. Nice. But I can't get through here, right. So I'm probably going to need to walk over. Okay. And yeah, it's almost perfectly covered by the bow and arrow. So we just go here and we 
Get that key in that lock. Lots of arrows, I like that. I love arrows. No matter how you spell it. Oh man, this is great. Smilder. Yeah, I'm trying to remember all the names of all the monsters. Ooh, we got another one of these fellows, huh? Viscous white potion. I don't like that. Living Caverns of Rage. Wow. Such a bounty. I'm doing this to look for hearts. Well, now I'm just doing it to finish the cycle. All right. Nothing's in here. You guys again, huh? Marshmallow. Hell yeah. Uh, so does it show me how many marshmallows I have? I was hoping that it, it does. Look at that. Look at that. Amulet of strength, meteors, and then the memories. I'm missing only two. Nice. I like that. Let's run here. Let's uh, hit this door, see what's up. Probably not. Glad I came here. Authors? Huh? Well, the Alpha Centurions will be fine in the 17th book. Last month, the space time capsule stopped beaming signals out from the Orc Cloud. No official word from NASA yet, but amateur astronomers are going nuts over it. What they're saying is that the signals from the capsule redshifted out of view like it crossed new and event horizon, so it didn't even crash into a rock. What's weird is that after it vanished, something much larger blue shifted to the same spot. No clear photos, but the people who have been sitting have been accused of stockpiling cassette tapes. I'm getting worried. Uh, the first brilliant picture showing up on social media. There's a disagreement on what it is. I think it looks like that's insane. Keep my skull beak take close. No, it won't help, but it makes me feel better. People are calling the object. The ob People are calling it the object, but it's pretty clear it's a train hurtling through space in a cloud of glass shards. Driving on Earth May 11th, there's some uncertainty because the speed isn't constant. Changing speed and direction by jettisoning reflective objects and wooden doors. Total mass of all the objects that have been thrown out of it is more than the object itself could have carried. What are we dealing with here? A new Archangel? It is a new Archangel. Get your cassette player. It's time to transform. Cassettebeasts.com What does that mean? Like, should I go to Cassettebeasts.com or will I get doxxed? Like, what's going to happen here? So many bombs. So it looks like on enemies with hard shells, the hammer can actually be really effective, which I like. I like I like that. That's really smart. Gurn key. And that's the only way forward? But there's one here. Yeah, there is. I just didn't see it. Oh boy, another one of these, huh? Not that that's a bad thing. Yeah, someone screwed a little Morse code message and a shopping list on top. Archangel Blue, a shopping list. Binoculars. Oh, I've already actually gotten all that. Those are the items that uh, were in the beginning of the game. Huh. Interesting. Also, yeah, my theory that, um... Like... <clears throat> my theory that leaving the dungeon resets it appears to be totally true. Luckily, we've got quick travel. Okay, we've got flames. Marshmallows! Yes. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
Yes. Meteor, huh? So no, no more slimes. But we've got seven of them, which is pretty freaking great. How about I just leave, you know? What if that happened? So yeah, it looks as though things with the carapace, like, take more damage from the hammer. Which is actually really clever, and I like a whole lot. So is there going to be, like, a second bestiary with, like, these things in it? Because I don't think I saw even any crabs in the other bestiary. This has nothing to do with anything, but how great is it that there's a job in the movies called Best Boy? Oh, he's invulnerable from the front. Unless you hit him with that hammer. Gather a bunch, maybe you can make something. Maybe he's not invulnerable from the front. Maybe I'll just have to... Yeah, speed on him. Okay, so those are pits in front of doors. So I'm thinking, yeah. And these are pits as well. And he's using all my moves, along with a jump. Red Skeleton? A hundred-year-old comedian? Press space to jump out of the way. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. Okay, cool. So I guess we gotta find the red key and then that'll be the boss. But we can't shield, can we? Okay, so we can just switch it back. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Excuse me, gentlemen. Be out of your way and just to, yeah, there we go. Classical Caverns of Hatred. This is a bigger one. This is a lot larger. Okay. Is he floating? He looks as though he's above his own shadow. Or Crabmans. Who are? You gotta be honest with everyone. Sort of running out of things to say here. There's only so much I can say about how great this game is. Ooh. Yes. Give me more slimes. That's all that's like we need one more, right? So on the topic of how I can't say anything, hey the music's great again. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we've got 11, right? I needed 10. Do I need to go back to her to her place? Ready for a celebration? I'm not ready. I've got to be honest. The way that you said that made me feel not ready. So is this the room with the boss in it? Yeah, it's the one I completely missed. Oh, Paige is going to get hit. Yes. 
Paige, I love you, but I will be with you in a second. Okay. Oh my god, I've got a kill to get out of here? No thanks, bro. Any chance I can just cheat? You're not a real boss. Why are you playing the music? Okay. Then let's go here. Oh. Now they're all doing it. What the hell? Okay. Oh, and that just leads down there again, which means that I'm done. What about you guys, huh? I love these clawmans, honestly. They've got a really cool design. Like, I'll be completely honest, they look really rad. I don't really understand how I'm supposed to be hitting them, but, you know. Yes, I'm ready. A campfire? Yes, I thought it would be nice to take a rest. You do remember to take breaks from your adventuring, don't you? Skew one of those marshmallows in your sword and put it in the fire. It's burning. Give it a moment. Now eat it. What? Just try it. <laughs> good, right? Too sweet. Something else, but I'm not very good at putting my feelings into words, so I put my feelings into this and said, I want you to have it! <laughs> God, ever have a romance and then you turn into a monkey? Just, I, I literally was just like, <laughs> now you're being too sweet. As Lena and Paige sit by the campfire, Paige reads to Lena a play she's been writing. The play is terrible, but afterwards, the first time in a while, Lena sleeps well. <sighs> oh. That was that was the best. That was the best. I loved it. Oh, I'm actually tearing up a little bit. Hitting the wrong button. Ooh. Oh man, this game's good, y'all. <sighs> thing about plays is that it's almost impossible for a play to be like sexy. Cause like, how the hell are you gonna hold erotic? T Brian David Gilbert talked about this, but like, how the fuck could you possibly hold erotic tension for multiple acts? Like, plays are not short. That's why I think that there's no future in erotic plays. Oh great, now I've got the map. Nice and worthless. Alright, let's go. Archangel Catziel, Murder Tabby. Oh, I know Tony. What's happening here? I need to get off the ground. Okay. And then I can hit him. Okay, that makes sense. So we're we doing this three times. Kind of getting my ass whooped here, I will be honest. Okay, that's the three. Now comes in the extra hard super boss. Whoa. Up. I understand. Up. Down. Oh, it's the Konami code. Down.
Oh boy. Fuck. Oh boy. Up. Down. Down. Left. Come on. Oh, why don't these fuckers drop hearts? I don't want to screw it up. Too late. All right. Okay. Let's boogie then, huh? Okay, so we stay away from him. Okay, and then when he hop. And we should get out of the way so we don't have to get hit in the face with a TV. Also, this is just a thought process, but it might be good to, uh... Fuck. It might be good to replace my, uh, attack tunic with the defense one. Oh, I jumped too early. Damn it. Yeah, it might be good to replace this tunic. Because I think it's going to be, like, I'm going to just... I hit him three times and it's over. Nailed it. Didn't even take any damage. Definitely makes it all worth it, right? Okay. And then it's the Konami code, I imagine. Again? Yep. Up. Up. Down. Down. And you gotta go fast, because the more... The longer you take, the more of them there are in here. Right. Left. Right. Evil smiley face. Yeah, two tries. Let's call me two try Lena. Angel heart. All right, number six. Arbitrary code. I've been studying eight fridge. Looks like an arbitrary code execution glitch. It's kind of bug in software where careful exploitation can produce any effect you want, right? Yes. So we think you can use this to reprogram reality. Of course he's the one who fucked it up. I already have. I'll show you. Now to turn this chicken back into the original form. <gasps> oh. I need to stop your research while I come up with a plan to dispose of this. Dispose of it? Think about it. If this fell into the wrong hands, anything could happen. We're not equipped to source something that's dangerous here. Come here, Henrietta. Hmm. Like, that's the thing about something that creates matter. Like, no matter what or where or when it is, it has to go. Like, that is, that is the deal with it. Oh, now I can jump, yeah. Like, no matter what it is we're talking about, if it creates matter, if it creates mass, it has to go. It cannot exist in this world. It will destroy reality. Like, it's unfortunate, but like, yeah, that's just the deal with it. It'll always, no matter what, always destroy reality. And like, on the one hand, you might think that unfortunate, but like, God, what would you do with it anyway? Okay, and I've got my defense tunic on. Where am I going? Can't jump over these, I note. So Henrietta was actually a slime. Okay, this leads up now. It's the train. I saw that train earlier. I, I wonder what it is. 
Because something about it made me think that that was like the real world, essentially. Let's shoot an arrow into here. Okay, and then where does this go? Shoot. It looks like the whole last area is just all glitched. Well, we can go here now, right? Does this get me anything? 20 bucks? 10 bucks? 50 bucks. Nice to... Oh, man. You know what needest to be done. Oh. Oh, man. That was really good. It's very satisfying. Okay. Now we're here. But where does this get me? So, am I still... Racking up these things? I am. I have 12 slime. Hmm. I don't know what those do. Interesting. I guess I haven't been over here then. I thought I would have been. 10 bucks. Sweet. Sweetheart cupcakes. Oil, brown sugar, vanilla extract, cinnamon, bicarbonate soda, eggs, sultanas, diced hearts, one flower zest, flour. Heat the oven, eight whole muffin tray with paper cases, mix that shit, add the other stuff, pour into the cases, it should be runny, heat in the oven for 18 minutes, uh, let it cool to room temperature, top of the cream and serve, just the recipe to match the type of heart you're using. Bad heart should go with plum wine, bush hearts are sour, omit the zest, hearts from broken rocks are dry, get an extra egg, if it's not runny enough, add in water. Interesting. And I'm just stuck here, am I? Huh, okay. Oh, of course, rock hearts. As in the thing that I just picked up. The heart from a rock. So that's a whole new area, huh? Meteor. Uh, I am aware that I have been recording for an hour. I don't intend to stop until I beat the game. Or at the very least, the episode will keep going. Might be able to hear someone's car alarm going off, because they just didn't shut their door right. Um, This way? Alright, do you still want these marshmallows, girl? Because, like, I'll pick them up. I will do anything up to and including murder for you. What does this lead? Okay. Just wanted to double check there. So as we go in this ways. Yellow potion. I thought I already got that. You know what I haven't done in a while? Picked someone up from an airport. That's a weird thing to mention, but like, I don't know, I like picking people up from the airport. I actually picked up my brother-in-law, but I guess, does he count? It wasn't a big airport either. Okay, so this, no bueno. And that's no bueno as well. Hmm. See, I know that this seed can be completed. I've seen it done. Well, I've heard tell of it done. Okay, so if we go this way, we were over here, weren't we? Indeedly do, we were. That, does that lead anywhere? Okay, so that's the bridge. There's loot here. Status effect store. Huh. 
Huh. Whoops. Okay. Okay. So I didn't even go in here. This is a new area for me. Clawman, I'm sorry, but you had to go. My name's Potter. I concoct potions for a living. And I'm Tunley, Potter's younger brother. I design tunics. My work's in high demand among discerning adventurers. We moved into this place to open a store, except our sister, Tressa, is essential to the business plan. She just wandered off. Please help us find her again. She was helping some shady fellow run a hallucination-based game in a cave. Do you know anyone like that? There's Potter. Oh, boy. Okay. Hmm. So if I swim, I can't swim any further than that. Okay. Okay. Um, we can go this way, actually. See, I'm starting to notice that there's actually a few side quests here. Interesting. Secret Science Lab, keep out. This is where the next dungeon is? My pen pal Maxwell works here. Alright. Uh, we've actually read this. Uh huh. Top secret. Okay. That's Maxwell. We have to free him. Any chance that we can just... No. Interesting. So we gotta kill this spider, huh? And then that door will open. Okay, cool. Oh, you can dive. That's funny. So it looks like we just wandered into the next dungeon, almost. So down will take us to where? See, there's this, like, grand tradition of, like, video games of the modern age. And they, like, uh... A lot of them do very similar things. Like, it was when Doki Doki Literature Club came out that I started to get really tired of it. Where they're all just like, oh, the video game knows you that you're in the game, dude. Oh, what would you do? Like, I don't care, dude. Oh, she's dead. Like, yeah, I, I wouldn't care that... Like, no matter of how good your story is, you're still just a video game about video games. So what about this? I see something. Damn. Okay. This is actually a little faster, I think. Which means I better just pirouette all day, every day.
Wait, can I? Yes, I can, which means I can shoot. Yes, yes, I'm on. I'm understanding it. Leap. Oh, fuck, my hair's in my eye. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh. No, it's okay. Fine. Hmm, and I can't jump over that. Huh. Oh, wait, I just realized. No, I didn't. Wait. Oh, I... Okay, so these things turn into holes if you stand too long. Fuck. Forgot I could pick those up. Which means that I can do... This, right? Oh, I'm getting closer. Okay. I'm starting to figure it out. I'm starting to see it. I understand now. So you throw that one. Poor girl. It's a clever combination of puzzle mechanics. Unless you're st stupid like me. Okay, so what do we know? This one has to go here. I know. God damn it. Well, this hitbox is just a little wider than you might think. I don't know. I thought I knew, but I didn't know. There's no way to jump up to here. Hmm. Maybe we'll come back to that. Maybe it happens to require something I don't have yet. But as for this thing... God, I want to, like, be able to pull it onto here. Can't jump over it. Because, yeah, those things break if you stand on them for too long. Okay, so if I go here and then come back, what happens? It's a different place. So the door is separate. The first four arrivals on this island brought with them unique powers. Upon death, the abilities passed in the next generation. This inheritance became known as the Four Powers. Power of Wealth. Kept as capital by the world's largest financial services corporation, the Guild LLC. Power of Fortitude. Symbol of each generation's chosen him hero. I have the Power of Fortitude, don't I? Power of... The power of compassion, protected by the royal family, handed out by each new monarch. I have two of those, don't I? Because I got the power of fortitude from... What's his nuts? And I got compassion from s the prince. Yeah, Lance gave me fortitude, and that's why I can now gain hearts. And I haven't been able to use the other power at all. Or I, I might be able to, I just don't know if I have had something. 
Okay. So let's figure this place out then, huh? So wait, every time that that fucking mini boss that uses my ability shows up, every time that's happened, it's been a fridge. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's shove that into place, fall into this hole. Okay. Let's see if we can't figure this out, huh? I'm supposed to be smart, right? I should be able to... Ah, oh, fuck. It's gonna be like an hour long, but it's... I'm gonna play the whole game, and that's what I want. Okay. I don't know if I even need to go over here anymore. I don't think I... I have to kill them to get this thing to go down. Okay. Fucking god. Okay. But now I can also go over here. See, the thing about a Let's Play like this is that I know people want to see me suffer and struggle and figure it out, but also sometimes I just don't fucking know, man. Okay. Okay, yeah. Thought so. Hmm. Maybe I should cut the recording. At least until I figure out my next plan. Or until I unlock more maps to go on. This game's sound design is also fantastic, I want to say. Okay. So now I can swim to here. And this gets me what? Here, right. Okay. Hmm. Like, I'm going quiet because I'm just trying to think about shit. team okay so if I push this into this little corner nothing happens okay hmm What happens if we back in and come back out? Shh, fuck. God. Oh boy. I'm getting flustered. And then that just traps me in here. So that's pointless. Okay, I'm gonna pause the recording. I'm gonna try to figure it out. I'll be right back.